Hi, I'm Jody with Jody Pear Designs. And hi, I'm Kathy with Open Space Organizing. And today we want to share a thought with you instead of a technique. And this is something that has been playing on my mind lately. Maybe it's because of the, the warm weather and I am spending a lot of time in my um, garden and uh, really enjoying that. But the thought is that in order to, we, we need to sow seeds for our dreams, just like we are sowing seeds in the garden. And I love the analogy of that, the gardening in relation to the house. So I just want to play with that thought a little bit today and see where we go and if we can be helpful for our listeners. <laughs> and when you think about gardening and you start to get ready for gardening, what do you do? Um, you might pull all your tools out. And then the first thing that you do, or the second thing you do, is you start preparing the ground. And one of the things that you do to prepare the ground is remove everything that's not a flower or a plant. Uh, you start to pull your weeds in your garden. Yes, that exactly. And when you think of that in relation to the house, so I guess the analogy is clearing your clutter. And that, you know, that's, that is a fluffy, I suppose, a fluffy thought that we hear over and over again, and it has a lot of, um, gives us a lot of pressure and guilt. But if you think about it in terms of your dream, that is the inspiration to address the clutter. Um, because we all have dreams. We all have something that we are working towards and that we want more of in our life. And in order for that to happen, how can that dream grow? And how can, first, what we would wanna do is make sure that that dream is represented in our house. And so the one idea that comes to mind is maybe, like for me personally, I love to go to the beach. So um, I wanna plan trips around that, you know, with that idea in mind. So for me, I would wanna have a picture, maybe a picture of a beach, Maybe I want to have a, um, a, a glass vessel, some kind of a decorative bowl that has sand in it. Maybe I want to have seashells. Um, something that reminds me of the beach and that that is where I want to be. And if I want to be reminded of that every single day because I want this dream to grow, I have to clear space. I have to make physical space for that idea to grow. So um, maybe it's on my desk and I want to clear my desk and I want to just see that sand. So my mind, my subconscious mind is telling me that that is important to me. And we just try to, it will naturally evolve and we want to keep moving in that direction somehow and manifest that in our life. <laughs> And that, and that makes me think of being intentional. So we bring a plan out to our garden and we're intentional about what we're removing and what we're putting in. And you can use that same exact idea in your space. So you're intentionally removing things that aren't helping you fulfill your dreams or reach your dreams. And you're intentionally putting into your space those things that will help you be creative will inspire you, will motivate you. And so you end up with, you know, a beautiful area to do your work in your house, or you end up with the beautiful garden outside where you can see the plants that you planned growing and thriving. You know, any, any space where we kind of open it up gives us the opportunity to create new new possibilities, new ideas, um, new avenues that we're going to travel down. So there it is. So I just, I love this analogy and I hope that you find it helpful and that it inspires you to sow the seeds of your dreams in your house. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks, Kathy. Great talking with you. Yeah, thanks, Jody. See you soon. Okay, bye. If you would like to work with either one of us on an individual basis, 
we are both available to do video online consultation with you. For those of you in our local area, we are available to come in for an in-home consultation. And Kathy lives in the Wheaton, Illinois area, and I live in the Detroit metro area. Please visit our websites for more information.